Naturalist Paul Johnson has lived in the Anzabrego Desert for over 40 years and knows Sahara mustard well. So here's a Sahara mustard that's still alive. These are the pods right here. All of them have little bumps on them. Each one of the bumps represents an individual seed. They're a kind of an orangey red color. Very, very small, maybe half a millimeter. Sahara mustard is a fairly unique plant appearance-wise. The first thing it does as soon as it sprouts is to grow a rosette of dark green leaves, which is rather rare in the desert. If you look at desert vegetation, most of it is light colored to reflect heat. Mustard is only here for three or four months, so it doesn't worry very much about getting too hot because by the time it gets hot here, it's done. Another person taking notice of the invasion of Sahara mustard is John Redman. He's the curator of botany at the San Diego Natural History Museum. San Diego County alone may very likely be the most diverse county in the entire United States. We know of no other county that has the kind of native diversity anywhere else that occurs in the U.S. So to have something that is well adapted to deserts that comes in and now it's starting to impact and outcompete, take resources from the other native plants that are in this area, that's a real problem. That's changing that ecosystem extremely. Residents in Anza Borrego have been aware of Sahara mustard's threat for some time, but it's been difficult to make any progress against its invasion because the affected area is so huge. Now there's a coordinated effort to remove the invasive plant. One of the people responsible for this effort is David Garman. He has owned a home in Borrego Springs for 20 years and came to his activism by accident. I became concerned about Sahara mustard three years ago when I went to Henderson Canyon thinking that I would see an incredible display of wildflowers. And when I got there, I saw an incredible display of Sahara mustard. The hundreds of acres that I had expected to be uh, wildflowers had been transformed into hundreds of acres of this invasive weed. What he saw prompted Garmin to found the Tub Canyon Desert Conservancy to address the threat posed by Sahara mustard. He applied for help from AmeriCorps and for the past three years has sponsored a team to work with them and the Anza Borrego Desert State Park. Anna Yeagle is the leader of the AmeriCorps team working to eradicate Sahara mustard in the Borrego Springs area. I think a lot of us were a little apprehensive when we were first told we were going to be spending nine weeks out in a desert that none of us had ever really heard of before. So we've been surprised by how vibrant uh, Anza Borrego is, how much life there is here how biologically diverse this area is. So being here has been a really submersive experience. The AmeriCorps team splits its time between the Tub Canyon Desert Conservancy and the state park. While working on park land, Paul Johnson supervises them. We found a rather large population way down in the south end of the park, about 50 miles from here. And over the course of about three weeks, they picked about three quarters of a ton of mustard and hauled it out in bags for us and they cleared about 300 acres of land. We think there's probably two or 300,000 acres of land within this park that are impacted. For the past five years, Kathy Dice has been the superintendent of the Anza Borrego Desert State Park. She has seen the rapid spread of mustard throughout the area. People come here with the hope of seeing certain things. They want to see the birds. They want to see a roadrunner. They want to see a bighorn sheep. They want to go out and see those beautiful fields of wildflowers. So the reason why an invasive plant like Sahara mustard is important to us and why we want to manage for it is because if something comes in and alters the landscape enough, then we don't know what the changes are going to be that's going to affect the overall health of this park and other deserts in the West. I don't know if you recall the childhood game called Pick Up Sticks, where you have all of these sticks that are in a big pile and, and intertwined. And that's a pretty good metaphor for the interdependent nature of all of the life species, the plants and animals in an area or on this planet. And one at a time right now, these species are being driven to extinction, which means we're pulling out one more stick. Nobody knows when the whole pile will collapse, but it certainly is headed in that direction. Those battling Sahara mustard in Anza Borrego know they have their work cut out for them. They see the spread of this invasive plant as a very visible sign of the rapid extinction of many native species around the world. They are hoping that they are not the only ones to be concerned.